blue and you don't know where to go to why don't you go where fashion sits Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and this presentation will be on composite material. Now, this particular problem that's on your screen, find the load carried by each of the material. Well, they're speaking about this composite member here. It's made of a steel casing and a concrete filled on the inside. Okay, now when we look at it, uh, we see that uh, the dimension, 450 and 450, so it's a square. And of course, we have a wall thickness of the steel that is 25 millimeter all the way around. And of course, we're given some additional information here of uh, the modulus of elasticity of steel being 200,000 MPa and the modulus of elasticity of concrete being 20,000 MPa. Also, the load that's going to be placed on this uh, particular member is going to be 450 kilonewtons. Now, remember that this is a cross section, so it has a vertical height. It is just uh, as if a member is just chopped uh, in half and you're lo just looking at the end piece there. Okay, so we have all of this information and we're asked to ca uh, calculate the P or the load that each one of these material, the steel and the concrete, how much do they carry individually? Now we're going to use three formulas to calculate this and the first one here is a ratio between the modulus of elasticity. It is just a ratio. Okay, It is taking the modulus of elasticity of steel, dividing it by the modulus of elasticity of concrete and you're going to have a number and that number is going to be a unitless number but it is a ratio between the two material when we look at uh, the next formula to be used we're going to use uh, the stress formula for concrete and this stress formula says take the, the total load which is given down here and you divide it by the area of the concrete plus n times the area of the steel. So the n is this value right here. The concrete will, um, the area of the concrete will have to actually calculate and the area of the steel likewise. And the last formula that we'll use to calculate the stress of the steel will be n times the stress of concrete which is calculated right here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go and uh, figure out some of these or calculate some of these uh, variables that we need. Well, the first one is going to be the n value and we have the, the, the variables to calculate the n value. Okay, we have the numbers to do that. When we look at uh, the second formula after we get the n value, we need to go and calculate the area of concrete and the area of steel and we have the p value for the numerator here. And the last thing that we're going to do, the last formula ca calculating the stress, we're going to use um, the stress of the concrete times the n value calculated over here. Let's go and do some of these now. Now we know that the, uh, the area of the concrete, which is inside the area of the steel, the, the outside uh, uh, dimension of the column itself is 450 and we had a wall thickness of 25 on each side. Let me go back one. When we look at this, we have 25 here and 25 there. So if I were to go and get this length here, I would have 450 minus both of the 25 will get 400. Okay, so that's what I have here. 450 minus 50, which will give me 400. When I square 400, 4, 4, 16 and four zeros, you'll have 160,000 millimeter squared. Okay, so now we have the area of the concrete. When we look back, we need to calculate the area of the steel now. And what I'm going to do to do uh, to, to get the area of the steel, I'm going to take the entire area, which is 450 squared, and minus the area of the concrete, which I already calculated. And the next step will do that for me. I have the entire area, cross-sectional area of the column right here, minus 160,000 from that. 
and that will give me a value of 42,500 millimeters squared. So now I have uh, more of the variables that I could do calculations with. Let's go and calculate our n value. The n value uh, is a ratio between the modulus of elasticity of the two material. And of course, we know that uh, this value was given as 200,000 MPA and 20,000 MPA. You could see that uh, if you take 20,000 times it by 10, you'll get 200,000. So that the, the, when you divide it, you'll get 10 right there. So this is a unitless number. Okay. So we have both the area of the concrete and the steel, and we have our end value. We should be able to go and calculate the stress of the concrete now. The formula for that is listed right here. The total load applied to the column divided by the area of the concrete plus n times the area of the steel. Those numbers we just calculated and this is what they look like. Remember that when your load is given in uh, kilonewtons you have to change it into newtons and then you will end up with MPA. It's an identity. You cannot cross out the, the, the units here and uh, get MPA. It's, you just have to know if you take uh, Newton divided by millimeter squared you're gonna get MPA. Okay so now we have the stress in the concrete. The next formula that we're gonna use is to find the stress of the steel. Stress in steel is equal to N times the stress in the concrete. N happens to be the 10 the stress in concrete came right from there and 10 times 2.14 will give you 21.4 MPA for the uh, stress in the steel. Now remember that the problem didn't ask us to just find the stress. It asked us to find the load that each one of the materials were carrying. So let's go and in one of our uh, formula that uh, looks at stress and this is the formula here and stress is equal to load over cross-sectional area. Now if we were to rearrange this formula it will be uh, to solve for the load it'll be P is equal to the stress times the the uh, cross-sectional area of the member. Let's go and calculate the stress in the concrete or the the load in the concrete. We're going to take the the stress of the concrete multiplied by the area of the concrete and you will have 342,400 newtons and again when you look at the units they won't be able to cancel out you it's an identity you have to know that this will be newtons and likewise I'm going to use the same formula right here to calculate the load in the steel and the load in the steel is uh, basically 20, 21.4 MPA which is uh, the stress in the steel multiplied by the area of the steel and that will give me 909,500 newtons okay and keep in mind that uh, back here I'm going to go back a little bit we round these numbers off we round these numbers off to three significant digits and that's why if we were to add up at this location here, if we were to add these uh, these values, they should equal the total the total load that was applied, but they'll be a little bit off because of the rounding that we have done. And this is the statement that uh, that explains that to you. Now, these uh, these composite problems, uh, material problems, are not very difficult. Uh, they have uh, a few steps that you have to do, and uh, of course. Uh, if you do two or three of them, uh, you should be okay with uh, the, the process. Even if you do one of it several times, you should have that process down. Now, I hope that this video helps you with your studies, and I know if you're watching this that you're making an effort uh, with uh, your studies. Thank you, and have a good, uh, a good time studying. Bye-bye. Don't you go where fashion sits, putting on the ritz.